alcohol ink frustrations. I'm gonna go through my very frustrated phase of creating this betta fish based on this beautiful drink that I had the other night at a Japanese hibachi restaurant. So stick around and I'll show you all the details. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll never miss one. I do have full online classes. You can find them over there at my website at kellylynart.com where I have over 2,500 students in 85 different countries and over 24 online classes that have lifetime access. Hey everyone, Kelly here from Kelly Chassis Fine Art for another episode of Creating with Kelly. And today I wanna to go over frustrations with alcohol ink because even though I'm a full-time artist, I still have them and I know you might have them too, whether you've been painting with alcohol inks for some time or you are a beginner. So I'll be using mineral paper for this one. I've cut it down into a smaller uh, five by seven sheet here that fits into my open area in my mat. And when I started this, I started thinking one way and ended up with a different direction with this. So this is really the fun and frustrating part about alcohol inks. They don't always do what you want them to do and your plan may not always come out as you expected. Um, you can get quite detailed with things and you can, you can control them, but it's a little bit more difficult, um, especially when you're first starting out or it can become difficult if it's not going in the direction that you want it to go. So I'm starting out with some masking fluid and I had this thought that I wanted to have this nice little white border around here. So I am using just a little older brush here with a little dab of Dawn dishwashing liquid on it. And I'm doing these little squiggly lines here. Uh, I wanted it to be fairly fun, a little energetic, a little bit more crafty looking um, but I will tell you now this did not go as planned and my frustration sets in very quickly so I'm gonna put this aside let this dry here and we're gonna start with our background wash first so I guess the real purpose of this video is just to show you guys you know nobody's perfect and it doesn't always go your way and it can eventually turn out in the direction that you want. So when you're feeling frustrated and you're annoyed, sometimes the best things to do is just to work through it. And a lot of times I'll find that when I have a painting that I'm really not happy with initially, I can continue to work with it and it, and it turns out okay. So that, that happened with this one. So I just want to show you guys my process of what I went through and just to give you a little bit of... Um, confidence and knowing that even though things aren't going your way you can work through it because we know everybody always puts all of their best things forward you know your best pictures on instagram your best pictures on facebook but you know what i think that sometimes when you show the frustrations and you show your real side <laughs> you know how things aren't always perfect um, it can really help those of you that um, maybe are new to painting or wanting, wanting to become an artist. And this just lets you know that, you know, everybody's real. People are real and things happen to everybody and not everything is always perfect. So as you can see here, I started out with a little dropper here filled with alcohol and some pink. And I'm using I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Pinata inks. There, I did it. Oh, if you guys only knew what I go through with my words. I was just listening to Lori from the Alcohol Ink Art community the other day, and she said she cracks up when she hears herself back on the videos. And I said, I do the same thing. Sometimes, you know, depending on where you're from, you have a little accent or you say things a little different than other people. Stop saying Panada, and I was going to say Jacquard inks. So I'm using the pink for jacquard inks <laughs> and you can see this fish is pretty much out of control i uh had the paper just a little bit too wet with too much of that alcohol when i first put the fish down so the shape just kept expanding on me it kept growing and i'm kind of working through it here trying to create that shape but you can still see where it's tending, it's tending to bleed out a little bit so this is uh, 
step one of my frustrations. So I've decided to add a little bit of green to this just to see what color we get with the mixture. And I'm gonna shape this again. And now I'm just using this little small brush and I'm hoping this is dry enough so I can get that to, to stay where I want it. I'm giving this fish a little bit better shape here. Looks like a dolphin right now to me. <laughs> I'm trying to bring the little fan of the tail out. And uh, it's, it's so dry now that it's just really not expanding. So I'm going to put a few more drops on here. And then I pretty much give up here in a second. <laughs> and we're just going to see if I can shape this out a little bit more. It's changed the color on here, obviously. I think this is where the eyes, the little mouth is going to go here. As you can see, I did not draw this ahead of time. That's a little bit better. Give it more of a fan look to its tail here. If you ever go through those stages, I, I bet you do. You'll have to leave me a comment down below. If you go through the stages of, oh, I love this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I love it again. <laughs> you just... It's crazy. Art is crazy. So you leave me a comment down below if you um, go through the love it, hate it stage. Just write love it, hate it down below. I always like to see who's in it with me. So I am going to go on the outer side here with a little bit of the Baja blue. Or no, this is sapphire blue. And the jacquard inks. Ha, <laughs> jacquard, I said it. And I'm going to add a little bit of alcohol. Now, I do have these droppers in my Amazon shop if you're interested in trying to figure out what I'm using. And they have a little needle on them. They work really well with just putting a little bit of alcohol on your page. Uh, but the more you squirt it, obviously, the more that comes out of them. So I'll put that link for you guys down below if you're interested in, in having that dropper. Now, you can see here where my wonderful... <laughs> Um, masking fluid did not contain it. I, it's just too wet and I had too much alcohol in there and it just bled in. So here's frustration number two <laughs> and it's taking over my fish. So again, I am working through it, not getting, trying to get not too frustrated. See if I can make this move a little bit and go in the direction that I want it to. So I'm putting that tail back in there again, a little bit of fin. I'm really losing the shape of this here now. It's always funny though when you're doing these things. It's, uh, you know, when I usually show my videos, I cut a lot of this stuff out that don't doesn't work or I won't show it. <laughs> but I thought today, why not? I uh, have been moving and I have been tired and summer's coming to an end we have both of our houses now where we just sold our other one so um, that's happening we're gonna be moving again moving all the stuff out of the house after we just moved into the lake house so there are some crazy things happening here so I guess maybe that's why I'm frustrated and it's coming out in my paintings hmm so I'm gonna to try to reshape this face again the body is just pretty much lost at this point. And I've decided I don't really like these these white areas here. Because the masking fluid didn't do what I wanted it to do. But I haven't committed yet. I'll put the little eyeball in here. I'm going to use just a little bit of alcohol here. A little drop of it. And you can see where I've got the eye in there. Pretty good. And then I add a little bit more alcohol. And it blooms out too far. Because again, it's too wet. So his eye continues to grow. Not too bad, but. So I've let that dry now and I am using one of the Signo gel pens. These are my favorite gel pens to work with on alcohol inks. You do need to make sure that your painting is dry and it can tend to gum up a little bit because if the ink is real thick, it gets a little sticky and it's got a little ball on the end of it. So uh, you might have to just have a little piece of paper next to you to scribble on a little bit if that happens to you. 
but this is the silver. So we're going to start with the silver. I'm going to try because the body is just pretty much lost in here. I opted instead of using more alcohol ink because it was so dark at this point and that I lighten it up a little bit with the gel pen here. And these gel pens do come in white and gold. They have a little set and once again I'll have that link for you for uh, the Amazon, my Amazon shop where I put all of my items that I use in case you're interested in trying them out or if they're new to you and you haven't seen them before. So I'm just going to shape this out a little bit using the pen and I'm going to speed this up a little bit now just so you can see my process here and I'll let you guys take a look at that and play a little music. Now I was removing these by hand, but sometimes your hand can smudge it. So using this little frisket eraser works wonderful. It's um, a little rubber cement eraser and it just really pulls off that masking fluid real easy. So you will notice as I'm pulling this off that you can see that we're, it did bleed through. So another frustration that I had, this is number three. <laughs> So everything else is, is looking okay. I think I might have gone a little bit too wild on that, that silver pen. So it looks very uh, liney. <laughs> That's the best way. I wanted to look more natural. So I'm going to try something else here. But first of all, I'm going to have to get rid of that border around the edge here. So we're going to try to do this very carefully without uh, losing the, uh, the fish itself. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to grab my brush here and just soften those edges just a little bit in here, reactivating some of that dry ink and hoping that it doesn't cover up where I have uh, used that silver pen. And very carefully in around the fish here. So far so good. I got a little bit on top of the silver pen there but I'm just trying to soften those edges up a little bit you can still see where that ridge of color was or where the masking fluid was so I'm just doing like a scrubbing motion here and seeing if I can soften that up so that it's not quite as noticeable so I've started to do these little circular motions now and you can see where you can really where those edges are you can really rework those edges a little bit and and soften those up. It's okay to have it around the fin here. I think that looks all right. So it looks like he's underwater now. It's a little bit better. I still think that the silver could be softened a little bit more. I want him to look more, a little bit more realistic than what he's looking now. I'm adding just a little bit more of that alcohol in here to blend around the edges here. 
And if you've ever seen a betta fish, they're finned. They're more fanned and they're not always in the greatest of shape. <laughs> My son actually had one of these fish when he was little and that thing lived, I think it was like five years <laughs> in a little bowl. He was amazing. We called him Nemo, of course. <laughs> it was when uh, Finding Nemo had just come out. <laughs> I got a little bit more here. So I think that's going to work. So you can see it takes me a little while just to soften those edges, but I finally have that rim gone on there. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking at the fins and I think I'm gonna go in there as well and add a little bit of this softening to it. So I'm going over that gel pen. Now you have to be careful when you're doing this because it will, obviously it will can take it completely off. Um, but if you do it very softly and very lightly, you can either erase it, take it out completely, or you can soften it. So I'm going to try to soften it here by not going over it too much and giving those fins just a little bit more life on the edges here so they're not perfect. And this will soften that uh, silver a little bit. Now it can tend to get a little gummy because it's thick. So you can see where it almost activates the gel pen underneath. And it's really hard to explain what the what it does to the texture here, but you can see where it softens it just a little bit. So this is just 91% alcohol that I'm using on top of this. And we can lighten this in here a little bit more, soften that silver in here as well. Again, just putting a little bit of um, alcohol on there. I think that's better. I think I'm going to use the blending pen next and see what that's going to do. You know, this is part of the fun, you guys. Uh, you know, playing around, seeing what seeing what things will do. I mean, as long as I've been working with alcohol, which I think I'm on five years now, I'm always experimenting, and I recommend that you always experiment too because. You just never know how things are going to work together. So you can see here I'm taking a little film here of the painting and I actually posted this on my Instagram page. So if you're new to my channel here on YouTube, go over to my Instagram page and check it out. A lot of times you'll see what I'm working on before they show up on YouTube as well as the stuff that I'm uh, working on for myself or for my clients. So you can head over to at Kelly chassis underscore fine art and that's my instagram channel over there and i do have a link over there as well my link tree which is actually a wonderful thing to use if you are a new artist and you want to put all of your links on instagram link tree is great so on there if you click on that you'll see that i have um, my painting classes or they're online on my website i'll also have uh, any sketches or free downloads or pdfs on there and some other link. I'd love to have you go over there and check that out. So I have switched now to my white gel pen and just doing a few more little details in here just to give it a little highlight. And I am, I think, just about done. So as always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to click that like and subscribe button and share sharing is caring it's helping me, me grow my channel and thank you so much you guys i'm actually up to eight thousand. we may hit that ten thousand mark before the end of the year which is what my goal is so the more that you share uh, the more hopefully other folks can find my channel and don't forget to check out the online courses as well see if there's anything on there that you like and I, I am going to be doing a little bit more coming up finally once these moves happen into the online class world <laughs> So uh, you'll be seeing hopefully a lot more new courses coming up with alcohol ink and watercolor. So check those out on my website. And I did want to mention I am using the colorless blender pen here just to soften yet again some of those lines here for the silver. And I am just about finished up. So we will see you guys hopefully next Tuesday for another tutorial. If not next Tuesday, it'll be the Tuesday after. As you well know, I am... Uh, still in the process of moving and I'm still trying to get these squeezed in there for you guys. So if you take away anything from this tutorial, I hope that this helps relieve some of your frustrations and just go with a creative process. 
Wanted to mention really quickly before I go, if you are interested in any of the materials that we're using, including this mat here, I have all the links for you and you can click it up on top under product featured. So take care and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.